All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your Sony Mico P to an Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. Now, this is more like a part two. So if you haven't seen part one, go ahead and put the link in the description below in the top right corner of this video, because I'm not going to go over the entire setup. I'm pretty much just going to show you how to connect it to a UE4 since my previous video showed you how to connect it to a UE5. Now, unfortunately, a UE4 did not come standard with the Sony Mikopi plugin, but that's why I'm doing this video. And again, just a disclaimer, I'm not sure if this is the official way of doing this, but I'm gonna show you how to get it working. All right, so I have an empty project here and we're gonna load everything up. So let's go ahead and I have the folder right here. It's called JS Apartment. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste. It is a 5.2, control, copy, paste that in here. And I uh, just gotta make sure I have live link in here, which I should have it. So go to virtual production, live link is installed in there. So that's good. So with that being said, I'm going to go restart my project now. While our project is restarting, I'm going to pick a character that I have uh, in my library. Now, majority of characters still being made in the marketplace are actually still Unreal Engine 4. And by the way, I'm going to go ahead and I guess address this issue right now. If you are a marketplace seller in the Epic Games marketplace, please specify what skeleton you're using for the character because whenever I'm seeing a lot of just says rig to epic skeleton rig to unreal skeleton that's not really helping us the buyer we need to know if it's rigged to a UE4 or a UE5 all right so if you're a seller just a little tip there it, it's pretty darn confusing all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this cyber grill to our project the project name is 360 show all project and I'm just going to say 5.1 because that's the characters. And there you go. Now we have our project back. And yeah, we have the Mokopi Live Link content. This is what we want. I'll press G to just kind of hide everything. All right, so let's go ahead and start setting up. I'm going to go to content. I'm going to click on add. We're going to do a feature or content pack. We're going to need a third person again for this one, similar to our part one. So I have that in here. I'll cancel this. And I'll go back to the content right now and look for that Cyber Girls mesh so i'm gonna go see cyber so here it is nano girl another annoying thing whenever you're making characters make sure it matches the name of your character because i was looking for a cyber girl so let's go to mesh right now and we have the skeletal mesh of the girl right here or nano girl we got one purple and one regular i'm gonna go with the purple one because it looks cool so that's great uh the first thing we're gonna need to do here is go ahead and switch the skeleton of this nano girl to the unreal engine 4 mannequin from the pack that we just got because we want it to be standardized so it's not too confusing. If you have multiple skeletons in there, that's not very good. So I'm gonna right click, skeleton, assign skeleton. So you can see I already have a bunch in here, but I'm gonna go to look for that UE4 skeleton. And what we need to look for is characters, mannequin, UE4, meshes. That's what we're looking for. And I'm just gonna say accept. It's gonna create some extra bones, which is okay. I'll double click that, go back to the skeleton and then just save. Right, so that's good to go now. And in here, I just want to make sure that everything is set up. Animation, animation, everything else, skeleton. So that's good. So the next thing we're going to have to do here is create an animation blueprint for this girl here. So right click, create anim blueprint. And I'm just going to call this purple anim BP. And I'll double click that. All right, we're not going to put anything in there just yet because we have to do a couple more stuff. All right, so the next order of business is actually creating an IK retargeter for our purple girl. So I'm gonna go to characters, UE4, rigs, and you have one in here called IK UE4 mannequin. I'm just gonna duplicate that so I don't have to create another one. And I'm gonna rename this, I just press F2. I'm gonna say IK rig, all right? And I'll double click that. And in the preview skeletal mesh, I'm going to put, I'm gonna pick the nano purple girl just like that. So that's good. So I'll save that. So now if I double click this one, she should be showing up. And if I double click the original, the original is going to show up. So that's what we really want to do. Next, we're going to go to the Mokopi live link folder once again. And in Unreal Mannequin, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Right click dupe. And I'm just going to say Mokopi to purple. All right. Double click this. And as you can see, we have the Mokopi skeleton and the UE5 mannequin skeleton, but that's not what we want. So we want the source to be the Mokopi, but we want the target to be the purple girl. So I'm going to go with purple rig, just like so. And that's already going to automatically swap 
our girl in the target preview mesh. Now, what you're going to notice right off the bat is that the Macopi skeleton doesn't really have a lot of bones. If you look on the right hand side here, it looks like a hot mess. So what I'm going to do is to sort this out a little bit. Left arm is good. Left index is not the left leg. Left middle is not the clavicle. Left pinky is not the left arm. So what it's doing is just the retargeter is really just filling in the blanks. You know, one of those things whenever you take an exam and you don't know the answer, you just kind of like circle whatever letter, it's doing the same exact thing here. So the right arm is the right arm, but the index is not the leg, okay? And I'm hoping that I really didn't screw anything up in here. So you see right there, I'll save that. And I'll minimize that and that should be good to go. So now we have an IK rig, now we have an Anim blueprint, and now we have an IK retargeter. So everything is starting to look good. Okay, so next step, we're gonna go back to our Mokopi Live link, Unreal Mannequin, and you're gonna see this mannequin actor. I will duplicate that. And we're gonna name this purple. Mannequin purple, double click, and go to the viewport. So that's good. The source skeletal mesh, we're going to leave as the actual animation blueprint and Makopi. That's fine. And we're going to go select the Makopi right here. And in the target skeletal mesh, we are going to be selecting Nano, Girl Purple. And for the blueprint, we're going to be using Anim, I think it was called Purple Anim BP. All right, so I'll compile and save. And then next, I will select this purple anim BP and search for it in my content browser and double click it because now we actually have to put stuff in here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say retarget post from mesh. And I'm going to connect that there. And then the retarget post from mesh. And then in the IK retargeter asset, you guessed it, we're going to be using Macopi purple. So compile and save and minimize that. And now let's go back to our Makopi live link. If I drag and drop this girl in here, she is now in a T post, which is good. So the final step to this is actually connecting my Makopi. Actually, I have to recalibrate it real quick because I've had it on for a long time. All right, so the next step to this is go ahead and go to my iPhone app and just say send via Wi Fi. Again, if you don't know how to do this, check out my previous video. Next, I'll go to the live link, go to Makopi live link, and create Makopi source. And just like that, we are now sending our Sony Makopi motion data directly to Unreal Engine 5 on an Unreal Engine 4 mannequin or mesh, all right? So let's go rotate it here. And what I like about this actor is actually, I can actually drag it around. I mean, obviously, if we're creating, say, like a like an NPC TikToker right here, super easy to do. Drag it right there. And then from here, I would probably, I would probably hip lock this since I'm just kind of sitting. I would hip lock this right now. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how you live stream Sony Macopi motion data into Unreal Engine 5 on an Unreal Engine 4 Skeletal Mesh. Now again, if you all learned something new today, please do like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. And additionally, if you're gonna create your own tutorial after watching this tutorial, I just ask you to please just give proper credit because honestly, I'm trying to get 100K subscribers this year. In the next video, what we're gonna be doing is obviously adding some facial animation to this, but I don't think this character has uh, blend shapes. I don't think this character is ready for Live Link, so I'm gonna have to find another one. But yeah, I'll take care of that later. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.